This week's episode of The Fashioning is brought to you by the gorgeous hairband designs of Ali's Bandstand. Ali's Bandstand is an amazing company that creates the most beautiful hair accessories for little girls. Every piece has a touch of drama and flair, and they're all beautifully made. Ali's Bandstand has outfitted my daughter's curls before she even had many of them in her head. You can shop directly off of her site or have a custom piece made special for your little princess. Go check them out at aliesbandstand.etsy.com. Use code HOLIDAY for 50% off your purchase of $35 or more. Orders totaling $40 get a free gift. You can use this code starting November 26th through November 30th. That's aliesbandstand.etsy.com. Beautiful things for your beautiful girl. Tell her Tanika sent you, and now let's start our show. Hi y'all, I'm Tanika and you're watching The Fashioning, your five minute fix of fashion fodder. As you can see, I am still outside taking in the last gasp of fall air. I love the fall, so bear with me as I enjoy it. Enjoy it with me in my crochet couture poncho. I'll put the hood in Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. All right, maybe not, but. All right, y'all, so we have so many events to cover, so many celebrities to talk about. We've had lots of stuff happening since the last time we've been together on the YouTubes. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the VH1 What's Big in 2015 awards that happened on Monday night. Some stars came dressed to impress while other stars just came well dressed. Let's start with Taraji P. Henson who wore this black Alexander Wang frock to the event. I actually think that this looks great on her. Now, I'm not really a fan of paneling that kind of forces one to wear no draws, but I do think that it's very tastefully done where the um, lace up detail is happening because it's kind of up the side of the dress. I can't help but wonder though, are her cookies really able to stay warm and properly, you know, insulated? in a dress like this. Because you know, girl, cold cookies crumble quick. Amber Rose in this black mini dress that was way too tight. She literally looked like the last bit of toothpaste being squeezed out of the tube. And the glasses kind of look like the goggles that you wear at the dentist office when you go for your whitening, your teeth whitening treatment. It's just... She's still sexy though. K. Michelle looked ever the lady in this Alice and Olivia mini dress. You know, I really hate the red hair on her, but it's K. Michelle. Let's just thank God for small favors. The rest of it is classy. Kendrick Sampson on the red carpet looked like a bowl of caramel wonderment in this suit that fit him impeccably. He looked more delicious than all of Patty's pies. Yum. Jocelyn Hernandez wore this um, vest that looked like it could only be made up of Brazilian, Brazilian, Peruvian, kinky, curly, weed. Very classy. Let's move on to the 2016 Golden Globe Award season celebration that happened shortly after the VH1 2015 What's Big situation. Because what else do celebrities do other than take up time on tabloids and stuff? They celebrate random things. Here is Tracy Ellis Ross looking ever so statuesque in this white jumpsuit. I think everything is perfect except for the hemming of the pants. I just feel like they're too long. And what is worse than pants dragging on the floor? White pants dragging on the floor. No way. Tessa Thompson looked like her closet literally just sneezed on her in this C 
sequin dress, button down top disaster. You know what? I bet Tessa's closet saw Asian Naomi King's drag weed infested dress. Tashina Arnold's dress was aight, but the wig, the wig, I don't trust it. Uh uh. Have you recently put a look together that is so epic it should be shared with the masses? Start small and send your pictures on over to me at glassdolls at hotmail.com and you could be featured right here on The Fashion. All right, y'all, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining. If you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button on your way out. And also, don't be stingy. Tell your friends to share the shade, all right? Okay, I'll see you guys right back here next week. You guys bring the tea, and I'll bring the shade. Until next time, may the fears be with you.